Peekaboo. Hello, everybody. Juan uno momento, por favor. Oh, perfect. That was horrible Spanish. And I don't know any, but uh, ready, set, lights, camera, and... Nothing happened. The lights are already on, so doesn't help anybody, but prop. All right, so we're back, and we are here to talk about, you know I did it last time, and it's become my new favorite thing, even though I only did it once. <sighs> Arrow. We are back. We are swinging in the full swing into crisis. We are episodes away from the last episode of Arrow. Uh, it done over. Uh, the Flash, I'm almost there to Crisis. I'm about to watch Crisis, everybody. We're finally, it's taken me weeks, months, whatever, uh, to get here, but we're finally here. We got a few more episodes to catch up on. Um, by the way, not only do I do that for prosperity's sake, but when I was a kid, I basically am a kid, but like, you know, 10 years ago when I was a kid kid and in school or whatever, uh, we had like a uh, archery class, uh, and I remember the teacher because she didn't want to have us use the, the the bows and stuff without instructions. Uh, she like mined to the whole class how you would, and of course you wouldn't do that. I just added that because of arrow, but uh, how you would take the bow, knock it, and make a noise. It would be a twang and funk. That was the the whole spiel when you were releasing an arrow. Uh, and that was like the quote-unquote noise that we were listening for. Twang and funk from the, I don't know. It's just something in there. Anyways, back to what we were talking about, the more important stuff, which is the actual episode now that I've rambled for no apparent reason, wasting all of your guys' times. <gasps> My sincere apologies. I don't know what that was either. Uh, there's going to be a lot of that, so good luck. All right, so let's start off with episode five of Arrow. Uh, we are headed to Russia, uh, back to the Bratva, uh, a big crime gang kind of uh, situated in, in Russia, and it was uh, something that Oliver was a, a, a part of. Now we know that Oliver, and no, basically the whole gang's kids are there. Uh, we've got Mia and William, uh, that would be uh, Oliver's uh, kids, um, and we also have uh, Connor. Connor, see, I forgot it from the, I mean, I threw a picture up there and everybody knows, but if you check out my last episodes of The Flash, I'll put it somewhere. I'll, it's up there. It's there. Um, I, I totally blew past his name. I could not remember Connor's name. Uh, he was adopted by John uh, later on in the future, um, and he's kind of uh, a younger brother to JJ, which is their actual son. Uh, who we haven't seen yet, and he hasn't shown up, so I don't know if he's, it uh, doesn't appear to be that he traveled back in time. Um, it seems to just be Connor. But, anyways, moving on. Honor a mention for that, because I forgot it last time, and that's what we do around here. We catch up from the mistakes that shouldn't have been made. Ah. All right. Anyways, so we've got uh, the kids travel back from the future to hang out with... Uh, uh, the their adults, their parents. I, I never watched really what happened in the future, so I, I'm, and I don't, not that I don't care, but like, it's not that, I don't know. So they, they're back, but at first I wasn't too excited about it. I was hoping it was just be a one episode thing, um, but it seems like they're, they're here for, for, for basically uh, the rest of, of Arrow's runoff. And I think one of the big reasons is because they're going to start their own show. I think it's called The Green Arrow and the Canaries or something like that. Um, so they're going to be... Hold on. I jumped a little bit, so I want to make sure that that is still working. It is. Okay. So uh, they jumped... Um, ooh, it's doing it a little bit. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. That was... Don't mind whatever that was. There was some fits in the cameras. Uh Got to make sure it's still working. Um, I'll edit. No, I won't. Um, anyways, so what we got going on is, uh, <laughs> now that I've totally blown past, this is a horrible five minutes. I'll dumb it down a little bit. All right. 
So we've got Arrow going to Russia. They've headed off to Russia. Basically, they're trying to put together something to hopefully stop the Monitor now that they've kind of realized he might not be as good as they once had thought. Um, so they're off to Russia, um, except for John. He's going to stay behind and he's going to get uh, plutonium, another ingredient that uh, the team will need. Uh, actually, Curtis will need. Uh, he's another kind of honorable mention that I, that I forgot to, to kind of throw a bone to um, also in the last episode. Uh, I love Curtis. He's such a great uh, uh, character to have. He he just adds a lot of kind of um, uh, what he's kind of like the Cisco of the Flash. Um, but Curtis hasn't had a whole lot of screen time as of late. But he's kind of back a little bit, and he kind of just makes these one little one-off jokes. He kind of just jumps in and goes, "Yeah, I like that. I like that." Or or he just throws something in there. Like there's a point where um, uh, he's like, "Oh, it's my favorite part is coming up." Um, and Oliver Queen goes, it's, it's time to suit up. And he's like, Ooh, I love that part. Uh, so it's cool to see. It's always cool to see Curtis, uh, grace the grace team arrow again and come back. So, um, you know, they've got that whole dynamic going on. So while Oliver's in Russia, uh, he has to kind of relive his past. He meets up with Anatoly. Uh, we know him from way back when. He's been around since the beginning of kind of the Bratva, and he's played a lot of uh, heads, either good or uh, bad, uh, towards Oliver in the last few seasons. Um, and now, you know, once again, they've, they've kind of come to terms with their past, and now they just want to be friends, just like they started off with. You know, he makes this joke that he's one of uh, uh, Oliver's, his, his favorite uh, American. Um, and so it, it's kind of cool to see Anatoly back on. It, it's nice to see that everyone's getting to come back to, to say kind of their goodbyes to the show and to the other uh, actors. We know that's what, what this kind of is. Um, but it, it brought some really cool points. Oliver gets to get into a cage match and we get a little bit of like the prison Oliver back a little bit because um, he just goes in there and he gets like, he gets hit a few times, but he destroys this like I, I don't know I in the back of my head and don't be mad at me for this because it's just a joke you know that's what I'm trying to do here a joke but it kind of looked like a roided out like machete like he had like like and again like you know he's not in the the shot for very long because he just gets he gets a few good solid punches into Oliver and then Oliver just destroys him like it was nobody's business um and, but he's like got long hair and almost looks like he has this giant handlebar mustache. Just this big old like titan of a man. I was, you know, I wrote it out machete was all I could kind of think about when I was watching it. So there you go. There's my little, now I've kind of ruined the whole joke by explaining so much. But I, that, that, it was a cool fight scene. There, there's a lot of cool, you know, action scenes and, and things like that. And I, I know a lot of you are going to say, uh, Nick, no, there's not. Uh, it's all, it's that, and that stunt devil did this, and you can see that set up. Look, look, I got glasses on, so my vision ain't all that great. I, I'm not watching it for the, what, what isn't there, or, or what needs to be there. I'm just, I, I'm just watching the show, and there's enough action and explosions to kind of, you know, get that rolling, and so, um, you know, I've always liked what they've done, or been able to do action-wise on the TV show. Um, they don't have the budget as a bit of the big movies, but they still find a way to, you know, include all that in, especially now. I mean, you guys got to think like after like, let's think Arrow alone after the eight years, think of all that show has seen between speedsters, um, people with, you know, special abilities, you know, they've, they've come up against the League of Assassins, which is an organization that's been around for hundreds of years. Ra's al Gould, or Ra's al Gould, Ra's al Gould. Ra's al Ghul, of course, lives for hundreds of years, longer than, than, than most people. And then they even, um, I'm going to butcher the name, but they even fought somebody that was like, basically since the, the dawn and time when they had Hawkgirl and, and Hawkman uh, show up. Um, uh, it'll come to me, I, I, I promise. But uh, so they've seen like a lot of, uh, of crazy stuff. So like for them to be able to kind of uh, uh, bring that all back um, I think the camera's acting up a little bit. I'm going to pause and fix this and then come back. I figured it out. 
Um, so I'm clearly new to all of this and it kept lagging and lagging and lagging. I just needed to plug something in, like charging wise. That was it. Took me like, well, five minutes, but that's longer than it should have to make me realize what happened. Anywho, Vandal Savage. You see, I told you, I told you that I would come up with it. Full, full, full disclosure, I, I, I looked it up. I mean, you guys all know that, but I, I, I looked it up when I, when I, I fixed this, then I looked that up. All right, all right. I'm gonna do that. Every time I get sidetracked, I'm just gonna... Back to the show. All right, Arrow. Let's get, let's get with it. So, they're in Russia. They're looking for this thing. Anatoly's there. Life's a box of chocolates. They're having some good moments. The keys to this episode really are um, the choice that Laurel has to make uh, because Lila approached her uh, uh, to ask to tell her basically to betray Oliver and take the device that Oliver's trying to get and bring it back to Lila, who is of course working for the Monitor. Um, and it's all that thing because we know this is not. This is not the Laurel from the beginning of the show. This is uh, Earth 2 Laurel. She was evil. She, she started off um, uh, evil. She, she kind of became good and still kind of fluctuates back and forth. Um, and so she's kind of made, left with a choice at the end, what path she's going to follow. Uh, whether she's going to go down the good or the bad. Um, so that's kind of her toil throughout. And even Anatoly... Which is something, this is one of, I, re, this is, I really like this part of the episode. Anatoly looks over at Laura at one point um, and kind of basically goes, you know, I get you're trying to make a change, but leopards still have spots. Like, he came up with this way of basically saying, like, it's good that you're trying to do the right thing, but I can still see that you're maybe not going to make the right choice. Um, and that kind of relationship, that kind of perspective of what Anatoly's been through and the choices he's made, um, he's kind of able to relay that over to Laurel, uh, only to share a, a, a unique perspective and kind of get Laurel to, I wouldn't say second guess her decision because they don't have that much of a heart to heart, but it is kind of like this acknowledgement of, you sure you, sure you want to be doing this? Like, I know you're trying to do the right thing, but I can tell you're probably not going to follow through with this. So, you know, you kind of got to make a choice. And it's it was a very interesting, um, it was just an interesting part of the show. Um, and and I, I, I really like that that, that kind of happened and, and or that I saw that kind of unfold. That, that, that was interesting as we kind of say goodbye to these characters as, as we get closer and closer. It was... Um, Laurel is, is starting to have a, a, a lot of the development and things that, that we almost missed from when the previous Laurel uh, uh, died. We, of course, we saw a lot of her character development, but she was at a kind of a crucial moment when, when she passed. I mean, she really was still really becoming her own kind of superhero and, and really building into something. So I, I'm not really sure um, if that will... Um, uh, I mean, that's just my kind of opinion on it. I, I really didn't care for the first Laurel, and I think this Laurel, um, even though it's portrayed by the same actor, which, you know, congrats to you, good job. Uh, you brought me back in the full swing. Um, I, I really like her, her kind of final arc here. It is re is really good. Um, so moving on, we've got that going on. Another one of the big things that's that's going on is is we we get to see Oliver training Mia. Um, and it's kind of there seeing each other's abilities for the first time um, up close, which was really fun to see. You'll have a lot of fun watching that. Uh, the, the, they don't do the, the bar thing, though. I know that, like, the whole, like, when Nick, like, climbs up, um, I was thinking we'd get that one more time. Um, but that didn't happen. Uh, we got a lot of the arrows with tennis balls and uh, and, and them kind of, you know, sparring. And we got to see a lot of what his kind of special arrows 
um, do and, and kind of what each of them are. Um, so hopefully we're going to see a lot more of that uh, when they continue the show or do the spinoff. Um, but I wish, you know, at least they're adding it and, and giving us some explanations to what some of his vast amount of arrows can, can really do, which was uh, very cool for me. I, I've been wanting to see that for a long time. Another big thing um, that kind of happens is Roy comes back. Um, the, the original uh, Speedy, um, he, Roy Harper, he gets to come back and rejoin the team. Um, he's kind of been off uh, in his own kind of exclusion, um, self-exile, uh, you would say, uh, due to his bloodlust. Uh, we found out that, that he, of course, um, has the same problems that, that Thea has, um, and he ran into some issues uh, with his bloodlust, and so he's kind of uh, moved away. Um, but uh, John kind of brings him back in the fold and because, you know, I, I think John, he needs as much original right now as possible. So many things are so chaotic. Um, he's kind of looking for a little bit of that, that, um, that sweet spot, that, that, that time when he was with the, the original team. Um, you know, I, I think he, you know, he, he kind of needs that, that grounding uh, uh, sense. So he tries to go and recruit Roy back. Um, and, and really, uh, uh, I, I think, worthwhile way. He basically states, you know, I, I know you've got the bloodlust, um, but he doesn't bring that out to him. He lets him kind of unfold and, and, and he really lets Roy kind of let loose, you know, his feelings and his trepidations. I like that word um, about uh, about coming back or, or or even being on a mission in general, and um, uh, John gets to kind of be like, "Look, I understand, but um, I've seen the future. You know, we've got our you know my son uh, is from uh, came back, and and we've got Thea and William, and they're all back from the future, and they met you, and you." you were able to cure your bloodlust by having a team and by having a team is what actually saves you. Um, so with that, if you'd like to come back, you know, you don't have to, but you know, we'd really need you. We really could use you on the team. There's something coming that is, is a crisis that we all have to face. Um, and he kind of brings up crisis and, and, and leads in, into that and kind of updates Roy. So we get Roy coming back, uh, as speedy, uh, and we get to see him. He gets right back into that, uh, uh, um, outfit right out the gates uh, on his first mission so it'll be nice to have uh, a Roy kind of back um, the ending of this episode I want to mention real quick because we, we kind of went over uh, everything we, we kind of hit the climax going back to to Laurel and uh, Alila which is kind of the big thing here whether or not she's going to betray you know everyone to the monitor or not um, and it turns out Laura makes the right decision uh, and tells Oliver what Lila's up to and they kind of go and confront Lila. Of course, you know, Lila's working with the monitor, so this isn't something that, you know, they weren't going to pull a one up um, on her at all and they all get tranked and that's kind of the ending of the episode there. Uh, I really liked it, you know, for being, I, I think we only have two episodes left. There's just six and seven, which are like the official like episodes before crisis happens. Um, so, you know, it, it was cool to see, um, uh, of course, Curtis back uh, where he was, of course, in episode um, four. But it's it's still good that, that he's around. Having Roy back was awesome. Being able to say goodbye to Anatoly was also awesome. Uh, getting back to see Russia one more time, also cool. Um, so a really fantastic episode. Got my stamp of approval. All right. Episode six. We're speedballing, speed, speedballing, speed. What the heck did I just say? Uh, we are uh, skipping along. Wow. Um, oh, I'm just, that's for you at home. All right. So episode six. They've all been tranked, uh, and Oliver kind of wakes up almost two days later, not really knowing what's what's kind of going on. Uh, basically, the monitor has trapped him and uh, Laurel um, in kind of a time loop, and they both have to kind of figure something out. It, it's a test. that we, We've seen it time and time again uh, through the past. They're giving them an, another test. Um, this time around, though, they get to try and save... Uh, Quentin Lance, uh, Quentin uh, Laurel's uh, father, a uh, white canary's father as well, um, is back. 
and uh, he was an amazing part of the show. I really like not only the character, but the actor. Um, he was on a, I have to throw this mention out because it's been on, uh, ever since I saw him, it's been on my mind. If you guys have ever seen the Dresden Files, it was only one season, um, but he played this like um, warlock, investigator type character. Super interesting. I really wish they did more, but there it is. Um, so anyways, awesome to see him back. Awesome to see him on the uh, uh, back up there with the crew. Uh, we have to watch him die about a hundred times because uh, every time he dies, it resets. And because it plays like a, a, a crucial role that we kind of find out. Basically, Laurel, this Laurel gets a chance to say goodbye to... Uh, Quentin, which she's never gotten to do, both on her Earth and on, on this one. Um, and they kind of had a relationship towards the end. Um, and one of the reasons why she's kind of shifted to the good side is because of uh, the support that Quentin gave. Um, so it was cool. They, they, got, this, they got to do kind of their, their goodbye. Um, and so did um, Oliver. Oliver really got an opportunity to like, you know, and, and what's awesome about Quentin and he, he believes the whole thing. Like, you know, Oliver kind of pulls him aside and just kind of goes, hey, man, like, uh, uh, we're, we're in a time loop. Um, I've been through it a, a couple times. Uh, you're, uh, uh, he finds out, of course, that he's, he's died. Of course, every time he's got to relearn that it's a time loop. But every time he's like, yeah, sounds good to me. Uh, do you remember the stuff that we used to see? The Mirkuru, Razar, Gould, not gold, fixed it. Uh, what up? Um, uh, now I've lost track. See that? You pump yourself up and then you forget where you're going. Um, we get the, he kind of just, you know, he's like, we've been through all this stuff. I, t time loop makes sense to me. What are we doing? How are we fixing it? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, and Oliver kind of has to learn to let go and realize that he's not going to be able to save Quentin um, and he's not going to be able to uh, be there to change anybody's fate. Uh, he is destined to go in crisis regardless. Um, and it, a weird thing kind of happens where everything kind of switches and um, it, it kind of comes to be that, uh, that they're that the monitor's good. Uh, for the last like episode or two, Oliver's been debating on whether the, the, whether the monitor's been good at all. Um, and so, um, but they kind of realize that he is good uh, and that we need to work for him and we need to do whatever it is that he's asking us to do. And that's how we're gonna save or solve crisis or, or face crisis. And Oliver needs to utilize the time he has to do what he needs to do to get to crisis. Um, it's not about losing time or changing time or anything like that. It's spending your time as wisely as possible before you have to say goodbye or before you have to leave and before you have to kind of make that next step. Um, and so that's kind of what this whole episode is about. It's, it's very heavily directed on um, Oliver and Laurel and their final goodbye to Quentin. Quentin's kind of last time on screen. Um, I'm sure we'll see him in Crisis, but we kind of, we probably won't see him uh, for the rest of the show show. Um, so, you know, uh, a very, a very climactic episode. Uh, we're, we're getting to a point where we're basically, uh, you know, uh, one day away, if not hours away from Crisis, and we are in crunch time. Um, and so we kind of see at the end um, that him and Laura wake up and they realize where they are. Lila's there, of course, and they're all now on the same page and they convince everybody, hey, these guys are, you know, they're good now. Or Lila's, you know, good or whatever. Um, Oliver's convinced that they're, they're good, but he's, they wake up in a tent and um, of course, of course, where are they for the last episode that the ending of episode six basically has them tailing off at Lian Yu, um, otherwise known or, or Chinese for purgatory, or at least that's what they say in the show. Um, and even the last episode title is called purgatory. That, that I know for sure. Uh, so 
we're back. We're back on Lee and you for the final episode of The Arrow. I'm really excited to see kind of how it all it ends. I'm super stoked. Five and six, you're good in my books. I liked five more than six. The time loop was, you know, it, I, of course it got repetitive. Um, but, and it was, there were some cool moments in there, but compared to five, it had a lot more kind of fun and, and energy and, um, and I, and I love Anatoly. Not to say that I don't love Quentin. He's amazing. And that's why I really like this episode. Um, and it was a good chance to, to say goodbye, but it was definitely a setup for the, the all L end all of, of Arrow and really setting it full gear to crisis. So I'm super stoked about that. Uh, uh, Flash is up next. I got to watch six and seven and get that up there. Um, and then um, I've got episode seven for uh, Arrow um, and episode um, uh, uh, episode seven for Arrow, episodes seven and eight for Flash. Um, so we'll kind of see what I want to do there because there's three episodes left. Um, so it might be a really short episode for the uh, Arrow. That might deserve its own little episode, and I kind of go through all my favorite moments. I think I'll do that. Uh, decision made. Thank you, everybody. Um, so keep a lookout for more. Hope you guys liked uh, these little reviews, these little one-off impressions. Um, sorry for the technical issues. Hope you guys liked the kind of the uh, everything that went about. Comment on what you guys liked the most of episodes five and six. Uh, it'll be. Um, Hey, check out the whole seasons on Netflix. I can't wait to get to Crisis. I only have three episodes to go. Um, like I said, I'm just doing Flash and Arrow. Uh, hopefully I'll speed back around to some of the other DC, DC shows. That wasn't even a tongue twister. Um, I gotta get out of here before I keep, before you know English becomes something I don't know how to do. Uh, all right guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, I will see you all next time. Uh, we're going to do The Flash, uh, 7 and 8, and then I'll do Arrow, and then Crisis! Who's excited for me to review Crisis? Let's get there. Comment below on episodes 5 and 6 of Arrow. I will see you guys all next time. Bye!